Stage four of the Giro Donne, 134.3 kilometers today. The riders rolled out for a 4.42 kilometer neutralized section. The stage are running from Fidenza to Borgo, Val di Toro, and Amik van Vluten going into the day in the Malia Rosa of uh, race leader, holding a 49 second advantage over Cecily at Trupp Ludwig with Juliette Labus third at 51 seconds. A breakaway of the day included Il Plamas of AG Insurance, Sidao Quickstep, Sylvia Zanardi of uh, Be Pink Gold, and Emily Deirdrickson of uh, Team Uno X. It was a testing stage that the riders had ahead of them. Three category three Queen of the Mountains points. The gap at two minutes, just outside the 50 kilometer to go point. This is where the race really would start to come alive. It was the young Dutch rider, the former European junior road race champion, after putting pressure on Diedrichsen and Zanardi on previous climbs, went solo. Marta Cavalli, uh, a little bit far down the group for some people's liking at that point in the race, but Plowmas went off on her own in search of the stage victory. A touch of wheels for the Malia Rosa. Annemiek van Vloot put some pressure on. It momentarily delayed Elisa Longo Borghini as well. But the Movistar rider was quickly up and on her way. Her teammate uh, Shayla Gutierrez was quickly alongside her. An attack from EF Education Tibco SVB rider Veronica Ewers sitting 55 seconds down in sixth overall. She rode across to Ilsa Plaumers and uh, the Dutch rider managed to stay with her for a moment, but the pressure by the American would soon see her go alone. Marta Cavalli in the Green Queen of the Mountains jersey was fighting it out for the points. The Italian, who was second on the general classification last year, clearly has designs on taking this jersey overall. Over the top of the climb and on the descent, it was Italian Silvia Persico of uh, the UAE ADQ team that went on the attack. The pressure was on in the group behind. As we hit the next climb, the final big climb of the day, Annemiek van Vluten had to take matters into her own hands. And with her went Elisa Longo Borghini. They did quickly cross the gap up to Veronica Ewers. And from this point on, it would be down to these three riders. 46 seconds as Elisa Longo Borghini was putting the pressure on on the descent. But they would come in to the finish with the three of them battling it out for the stage win. SD Works and DSM Fermanic were trying to bring their riders back into the mix through the final corner with 300 meters to go. Van Vluten had been forced by Longo Borghini and Ewers to lead out. The finish line was in sight. The Italian champion, though, launched her sprint first and was heading towards her second career Giro stage win. Ewers managed to edge out Van Vluten for second with uh, 10, 6 and 4 bonus seconds. The chasing group behind would be led in by Lorena Ribas, but some time gained for our trio of leaders in the general classification with the Queen stage and the Chima Copy to come on stage five. The day belonged to Lidl Trek and Elisa Longo Borghini.